In this video, we will learn how to create HTML table with rows and column in Notepad++. So here is the HTML code and this is what we would like to achieve. So let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Amit. Here is our startup page. I just created an HTML page in Notepad++ uh, with just a basic HTML tag, header tag and a body tag. So you can pause this video and copy this, but in the body section, we will try to create an HTML page with rows and columns. So before that, uh, let me just give a quick title to this page and I'll call this HTML table demo. All right. And so that's, and I am going to save this and here is the, the preview in the browser. So I'm going to refresh it. So nothing happened because this is just a title. So you can see the title right here. And now, before I put a table, let me just put a header, uh, h1 header. And I'm going to call it uh, create HTML table with rows and columns. Right, save. And if I refresh, so here is our h1 tag. Now, before we actually uh, start creating a table, let me just quickly go through what we are going to look into this video. So there are, there are many, many tags that we need to learn in HTML tag, but there are mainly about five of them that are the most important one. So the table tag actually starts a table. TR, which is a table row tag, is creating the table row. And TD, which is table data cell tag, which is actually each of these cell that uh, we will create in table. TH is the header tag, so right here you can see the header tag, uh, a table header cell uh, that you can create with TH. And then if you would like to give a title or a, a caption to this table, then you can use a caption tag. All right, so we will use all of them. And so I'll keep this open. And then the very first thing we need to do to create a table is just start with table, right? It's always good to indent the code. And so the very first row that we are going to create, it'll be TR. And then the cell will go as TD. And I'm going to call this, this is a first row, first column, or first cell, right? And then go to the next one, TD, first row, second cell, all right? So let's save this and I'm going to refresh it. And it seems like it just put a text here. And the reason why this is, it looks like this is because there is no border. So we need to give a, a property to this table. And so the property is border. And then we are going to assign one to that. And then if I refresh it, now you can see this table, we just started the very first table row, right? Now, if I want to go and create another uh, row, then again, I go to TR. Now you might wonder how am I able to close the tag without typing this. And so this is one of the Notepad++ feature. And if you want to learn more about it, I'm going to link the video right here. And you can check to learn how you can close the HTML tag automatically. In fact, uh, throughout this video, I will post number of links uh, to, to really speed up your HTML coding. All right. So here is our TR or table row tag and then we'll do TD, and then this will be our second row, first cell, and then I'm going to call TD again, and then this will be second row, second cell. All right, save, and if I refresh it, then now you can see that we have the first row, the second row, and then the table looks pretty good. Now, if you recall, we had a table header tag also. So let's say I would like to create a table header, uh, then I can do that right here. So the very first will be table row. And this time, instead of using TD, we'll use TH, and then we'll call this uh, header one. And then the second one will be TH again, and it'll be header two. And save, and if I refresh it, now you can see that we have a header table uh, and then the, the first and second row and, and number of cells. All right, 
Now, what if I want to, let's say, create a caption, right? I would like to have a title or caption for this, this particular table. So it's very easy. All you have to do is write after the table tag that you started. You just put a caption tag, caption. And then we can say table one basic HTML tag uh, table. And if I save, and if I refresh this, now you can see that it also have a caption uh, with the whole table. All right, so now let's say I would like to add maybe a few more rows, but one of the row is actually spanned over both of these columns. And so for that, we can use a column span. And let me just demonstrate and it'll make sense. So I'm going to create another table row, but this time, I'm going to say this is a single row and I'm going to give a value to column span or call span and that equals to let's say two because there are two columns that we want to span this row for. All right, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to save this and if I refresh it, look at that. What happened was this two columns was, was span and so it's just a single row. Now, I would like to center it, so I can simply just do align and equals to center and save and refresh. And now you can see that it is just a single row. And so now I can continue building my table. And I can, I just copied the previous one and I'm going to say this is a third row, first column, and this is a third row second column and so on. So let me just remove this, save and refresh and you can see you can continue. All right, so that is all for this video. We just learned how we can create a table, uh, HTML table with rows and column using Notepad++ and we also learned about five different tags, the table tag, the table row tag, table data cell tag, table header tag and then caption tag. Now. If you guys are still here, uh, please visit my channel uh, where I uh, post many videos and playlists. So please make sure you check that out. And if you like the content, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification for the new videos. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.